All right, Matt Mrozik, AKA MVM 997 with my Wonder Hall, Wonderfest 2016 Hall number two. This is our kit uh, I saw last year and was very impressed with it. And uh, so uh, I decided to get, get, to get it this year. So FYI, uh, I was able to buy most of this stuff because I sold uh, my friend um, a couple of my G system kits that I sold them my beloved GPO3 135th scale and my 148th high new, which allowed me to buy this stuff. So I was able to pay, you know, get get a bunch of cool stuff. Now I'm kind of getting into figures. Um, I figure I get some stuff, really neat stuff. So this is called uh, Lady uh, Clankington, and she is from Garage Kits Colors. Sorry, it's Garage Kits US Colors, and. Um, they put out the Dottie and the Scarecrow that I got last year. I have got another kit that I'm going to show you that I got from them. I'll actually put these in the same video. So this is the same manufacturer. This is a really neat kit. This is a, a sculpt based on actually an actual person. Um, I don't know her name, but um, she dresses up in this kind of steampunk clock type costume. And uh, I have to find out her name because you can, she, you know, she dresses up in this thing. And it's a working clock. This this model is a working clock when you're done. So uh, there go, ergo Clankington, and the way she looks. Nice little card. Um, let's get out. Okay, so she. Again, I haven't looked at this yet, so. <laughs> so I'm gonna pull out all the pieces. The packaging is very good. Um, they do a very good job in packing it, as the, just like. Uh, Film these girls. You've got this kind of cool gear like base. So the base are, are these gears. And I don't think there's a whole lot to this kit um, as far as parts count. Let's see. I think that may be it. Oh, no, there's more. Let's see what else we got. Alright, so that's everything out of the box. Let's get the box out of the way. Here's part of the base. This feels like another part of the base. So until you see this sculpt, it's, uh, it won't, it'll be hard to describe what she looks like. All right, so there we go. So this goes there. This is actually where the clock goes. This will go in here. And I'm gonna come down and show this instead of getting up so high. Let me get a sense of it. Sorry guys, as I always say, I am not a videographer by any means. So, <laughs> excuse the shape of camera work and all the weird angles and no digital effects or cool music. I just don't do that. Watch Dave Star Shadows uh, channel for that stuff. So, uh, there. So the base is kind of like that. And the clockworks will actually go into here. And here's the back of the... I'm not sure if this is the back of this may be the front. That goes on there. And then I don't think there's no pictures in the kit. And um <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go online to figure out how this actually goes together. Oh here's her head. Really, really done well. Really pretty. Very smooth. Just like uh, Filmy's Girl, the seam line is negligible. It's through out the hair, so that'll take some. And it's a little um, scribing tool to go through and clean that up. I'm not sure if it's shown up in camera, but you can see it there a little bit. But she's really pretty. Just a really kind of really pretty, uh, pretty girl. So that's the head. Now, which means this would be the torso. And here's the torso. And this is this is what it is. I mean, she's this really cool steampunk. Again, I may have to get online to see how this goes together. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see. Does this go in here? This may go in here. Let's see. Shoot, I don't know. <laughs> I think this goes in here. Um, oh, no, okay, I, just, I got it, I got it, I figured it out, I think, I think, I think this does go in here, somehow, please be patient as I try to figure this out, anyway, this goes in here, this goes here, like that, I'm not sure where this goes to be honest, 
This is the front of the clock, I believe, like that. This has got to go around this base somehow. This naked. Let's see if I can figure this out. Unless it goes up at an angle like that, but that doesn't make sense. It might. It might go like that. Yeah, I think that's how it goes. I think it goes at an, an angle like that. I could be wrong. I think that's how it goes. So that's just it. Maybe it just sits at an angle like that. Okay, let me back out a little bit. So there we go. Let's get our head on there. Oh, the head's not going to stay because it's not keyed. So... Just kind of a bummer, but it's no big deal. She might stay. No, she's not gonna stay. So this is, uh, I think, one. S this may be bigger than one six scale. This may be one fifth scale. She's a good size. So let me get this right away. So she's really got. So I'm gonna take the head off and just come in and show you all the details on her clothes. This was really cool about this. And again, Jim Capone is the one who did uh, the paint sample for this. And again, his paint up is, is marvelous, but he's got all these cool clock gears on here. And every buildup I've ever seen, those people go crazy with metallics on those. So it's really neat. Here are her arms and a couple other detail pieces. Let's see. She's got a little curly cue for her hair that goes somewhere. I have to look at the picture again to find out where. I think it comes in back here behind her ear. So. And her arms come with these cool pistons, steampunk pistons. Really neat. So let's see, this is this arm. Oh, oh please. Yeah, so this goes here. Oops. Maybe. Maybe not. There we go. So this fist, this arm goes on her waist, like so. It goes in there, like that. And this arm has one of those uh, piston details on it. It pins into here and into the top of her. It won't work right now because it's not pinned, but it goes something like this. And then the other side does the same thing. And this hand comes out like it comes out just like this, right across her the front. So she's really cool, very nice sculpt. So pretty when she's done. So that's uh, that's it for Miss Clankington. It's pretty short, not many pieces to show you, but again, it's uh, Garage Kits USA or Garage Kits dot USA or Garage Kits Color. I'm not sure how you say it exactly, but. That's Miss Clankington from them, and since uh, I have another one from them, I'll show that in the same video. And this one is called Shock Monster, and it's part of their Halloween series they're doing. And they've got three out right now. They got the one I'm going to show you. They have, they have three or four. They may have four. They have this one I'm going to show you. They have uh, Brighter Frankenstein, which is a really cool little kit. I'll put the link to their website down below, and you'll be able to see all their stuff. Get this out of the way. And I'll bring out Shock Monster. So again, this is from Garage Kits USA dot color dot USA color. Who knows how to say it? Let's take a look. Now what's cool about this kit? Is that they engineered all the bases to puzzle together so you can put all three of them together and make like a scene and if I'm not mistaken I think this character some of these characters are from the movie uh, Paranorman the stop-action movie because they look I mean they look just like them so I won't be surprised if that's where these guys are from or at least they took a lot of uh, liberties and <laughs> use them as a reference get all this stuff out of the way get the box out of the way So the first thing is we have is we have this really nice big base. 
and it's a sidewalk and you can see that they're all jagged like this well that keys into the one next to it and there's another one right here that'll key into it if you get that other kit and it's got a picket fence not sure if it'll stay but it goes it goes back here oh there, so there is a in the in the model there's another peg so it won't stay right now because there's no, no way to hold it up so the picket fence goes there and this little guy is right there and he's getting scared by a zombie and like if, I, I, I opened this one earlier in my in my uh, hotel room so this one I will not be able to get to put together and stand it's too uh, lanky but I can kind of show these pieces by themselves so you got this little kid and he's got this terrified look on his face. He's eating a candy bar. <laughs> and he's got his bag of candy, which is right here. And this pegs in into his hand. I think like so. So he's sitting here. Got his candy. He's not gonna stay, but so that's how he stands like that. Okay, so remember that because he's not going to stay together. <laughs> and there's a zombie, and he's really cool. He's tall and lanky and just really neat looking. Again, he's not going to stay together without me pinning him, but he, and he's tall, so he stands right back up. This is hard to do, guys, in camera and show you everything. So he's really tall, super skinny. He kind of stands like this. Again, I'll have to be pinned to stand, but he's he's lurching over. You still can't see him. He's too tall. There you go. Can you see that? Again? Yeah. So he's lurching over this kid, scaring him to death. So that's how he stands. And let's see if I can find his head. His head is really cool. This is his head. This really kind of neat looking zombie. And in here, there's a bunch of small pieces in here I'm not going to open. Um, his jaws in here. Zombie. Yeah, here's the zombie's jaw. Which is basically his tongue and lower jaw. And this will take some putty work, but no big deal. So that's the zombie. So anyway, you kind of get the idea. There's a couple of pumpkins in here which are really cool. And they're hollow so you can light them. The two pumpkins and they have lids uh the paint up if you see uh, jim capone's painting it's at, again it's jim capone so it looks killer he went through and he painted all these leaves individually all different fall colors so there's yellows oranges um browns it's really pretty um and of course his work on the figures are top notch so that's a quick one for uh shock monsters it's, it's kind of hard to show because i can't get him to stand up but i think you get the idea basically it's a zombie stalking a kid eating a candy bar holding his <laughs> Halloween candy. So that's it for the two kits I got from Garage Kits Color USA. <laughs> um, I'll send a link, I'll put a link to their website also. So again, thanks for watching. It's Matt Morozik, aka MVM3 and 7 signing out. Coming up on another one. Thanks.